Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Where are you from? I'm from Maharashtra district, Pune. Would you like to introduce yourself, ma'am? Yes, definitely. I would love to introduce myself. Okay. So, firstly, I go by Muskan. And I wholeheartedly welcome you to the session where I'll be your tutor for today. So, as this is our very first interaction, so let us finally start by introducing ourselves. As I already did, I'll go first. I have two years of teaching experience and I love to read and write. I also love to paint with various colors and different mediums. And over here, I love expressing my desire to learn and grow together. What about you? My name is Tenshka. I'm seven years old. I'm studying in third standard and my hobbies are to reading storybooks and riding a cycle. And it's my channel on YouTube. My channel name is English with Tenshka. Please repeat your channel name. I'd love to follow you. My channel name is English with Tenshka. Not your channel name, but channel's name. Channel's name. Yes, with an apostrophe S. Okay. All right. Okay. So you said you love to read story books. What uh, what stories do you love to read? What kind of stories? I like to read a uh, bedtime story books, moral stories. Yes, this. Okay. And my favorite stories writer is Sudha Murthy. Oh, I also like Sudha Murthy. And um, what uh, what stories by her do you prefer to read? Like what stories? Uh, do you by her you like? Uh, her I like so many stories. She uh, I saw on YouTube also, and I have a Sudamanti stories. I read uh, two or three stories from that. It's very interesting. Yes, definitely, it's intriguing, right? Yeah. Are you aware of the word intriguing? No. Okay, so it's time to learn a new word. To, um, if something is intriguing, it means it's interesting and it has something special in it. Yes, okay. Like your personality. Your personality is interesting and intriguing. Right? Yeah. You, you have a bright soul and I love that hairband of yours. Those kitten hairbands. Yes, kitten hairbands. Yes, if I were living in Pune, I would come and take it from you. But I don't live in Pune. No, I will bring you new. Oh, you will buy me new hairbands? Yes. Okay, if by any chance I come to Pune and I'm in contact with you, I'll try to meet you. Yes. Okay. Okay, so where were we? We were talking about stories, right? Yeah. Um, have you uh, read any stories by Ruskin Bond? Which one? Uh, by Ruskin Bond? No, I never read. Okay, you have never read because you are speaking in past tense, right? You have never read any stories by Ruskin Bond. Yes, I never read. Right. So, I would suggest you a story by Ruskin Bond. Do try and read it. Okay. All right. So, the first one is the blue umbrella. Blue umbrella? Yes. And the second one is the cherry tree. Cherry tree. 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 Yeah. Cherry tree. Yes, cherry tree. Yes. Okay. And? These two. So he has written these two stories. So if whenever you have time, please do read these stories. They are great. Yes, I will purchase it and read. Yes, definitely. Okay. So, um, um, what do you like to eat? I like to eat a uh, puran poli and pizza. Oh my god, puran poli and pizza! That's yes. great. So, you like uh, extra cheese in your pizza? Yes, pizza. I like cheese more. You like more cheese? Yes, I like more cheese on pizza. Pizza, pizza, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, do you like noodles? Yes, I like noodles. Okay, so do you know how to make noodles? 
No, I don't know how to make noodles. Uh, Maggie? Yes, Maggie, I know that I can make it. Okay, so Maggie, Maggie is the name of the brand, all right? Yes, yes, it's a noodles type only. Yes, it's a type of noodle. Yes, it's a type of noodles. Okay, so how do we make Maggie? Just we have to take a Maggi packet, then we have to add the masala, Maggi masala, then a, a water also, body water, then we have to mix and yes, it's ready. But you did not tell me if you uh, picked up a, you picked up an utensil or not. What kind of an utensil did you take? Where did you take water from? If you stirred or not? When did you open the packet? You did not mention all of these things. Okay. First, we have to take a utensil uh, and a spoon or anything. And then we have to take a water. We have to, uh, uh, it's a boil. We have to keep the water boiled. You have to and boil the water. Yes, we have to pour the water. And then uh, we have to just take the Maggi packet, then we have to open it, a cut it, and put the Maggi in the utensil, uh, utensil. and then um, we have to put a Maggi masala, then we have to stir, and it's ready. Yes, and it's ready, and it's ready to eat, and Tan the little Tanishka is ready to hog on it. Yes. <laughs> right? So, uh, do you have any questions for me? Yes, I have a question for you. Like, can you tell me about your childhood? About my childhood? Yes, your childhood. Okay, so I had a pretty boring childhood because when I was growing up, I had a few friends with uh, whom I used to play. Uh, but most of the time, I was busy studying and scoring. So that's the reason why I could not play much but i love to play I still love to play uh, so i kept studying and in that way only i grew up and, and here i am today sitting in front of you teaching and studying learning and growing together yes great yes and can you tell me about your daily routine hmm about my daily routine so it starts up uh, starts early in the morning at 5 a.m Okay, uh, 4.30 to 5 a.m. I wake up at 4.30, between 4.30 to 5, 4.30 and 5 a.m. Um, I get ready. I go to the ground. I exercise. I take a walk. And then I come back. I take a bath. And then I start studying. And then I have my sessions, back-to-back -back sessions. And again, I have my own classes. And after that, I have my lunch. I take a nap. And then again, it's in the it's, uh, evening by that time. I teach students as well. So they come to my house. I teach them. They go back to their house. Again, I carry on with my sessions, have my dinner and sleep. And then again, I continue the same thing the next day. Great. Great. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Yes. Can you tell me about your friends? My friends? Uh i have two to three friends they do not live in the same city as i do because they have their university they have their jobs uh, but we are connected you know uh, on various medias we talk over call and yeah this is what it is and how did you improve your english okay how did i improve my english uh, as I was growing up, I was too much into reading and writing and listening. Uh, so when I was in my high school, my interest suddenly peaked in the English language and I started hunting for new words and new phrases and idioms. And that's how it all started. And here I am today conversing with you, trying to teach you some more. Yes, it's very great. Yes. Um... Okay. So, you know, uh, we have been uh, saying this phrase, it's great, great. So, there are different ways in which we can say it's great. You want to know? Yes, I want to know. Okay, so the first one would be, it's cool. Cool. And? Yes. The second one would be, it's phenomenal. Which one? 
it's phenomenal okay, so you pronounce it as phenomenal phenomenal which means you are doing a great job okay okay and the third one would be um it's groundbreaking 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 which means it's uh, the work that you have done is so good that the ground uh, broke into pieces you know the impact was so great okay okay it's so this is ground it's a idiom oh uh, yeah it's an idiom yeah okay so uh, i see you are aware of idioms so is there a is there um, any idiom that you personally like yes the cats come from the bag means the secrets are oh my god to spill the beans right yes okay all right uh, one more it is like pull your horses means have a movement hmm that yes yeah that's a pretty great one don't get too excited please wait for a while right to hold your horses yes okay. that is uh, someone is saying like uh, hold your horses i used this with my friend so she said hey, are you holding the horses it's not like this i said to her it's a idiom it's an idiom right yes it's an idiom great so do you like gardening gardening yes you like it so do you so do you have green thumbs which one do you have green thumbs means it means uh, people who have green thumbs love to garden yes i love to garden i like to give water to my plants yeah that's so then you have green thumbs it's an idiom it's an idiom Yes, it's an idiom. To have green thumbs means people who love to garden, who love gardening. Oh, it's green thumbs. It's idiom. Okay. Yes. How many friends do you have? I have lots of friends. I have ten. Okay. I have ten friends. Okay. So, do you think, uh, by any chance, that any friend of yours um, has green eyes? green eyes not green eyes it's brown eyes okay so uh, by green eyes i do not mean to have green pupils not these ones uh, over here i mean someone who has green eyes or someone who is green eyed green e y e d green eyed means people who are jealous of you so do you have any friends who are jealous of you which means friends who have green eyes or are green eyed no no one it's not no. okay so there is another idiom you can use in your day to day life if you see a person who is jealous of you you might say the person is green eyed yes it's very nice idiom yes yes definitely and other one would be to be in to be in the black be in a black means in the black to be in the black in a black zone means to be in profit to gain to gain some advantage okay profit okay yes to be uh, in profit and um, and another one would be to be in the red zone be in a red zone yes which means uh, to be in a poor situation poor situation Okay. Yes. Personalized. Yes. You learn four new idioms today in just a matter of twenty-five minutes. Isn't that great? Yes. You know lots of idioms. That's so very much great. Okay. So we do not use very and much together in most of the cases. So you would go like, "That's phenomenal, right?" Yes. That's a phenomenal. Oh, uh, your tongue's got your tongue got twisted. That's phenomenal. that's phenomenal menal that's phenomenal yes this is the right pronunciation phenomenal yes. phenomenal okay yes so from next time onwards you might refrain from saying that's great that's good but you can say 
That's cool. That's phenomenal. That's groundbreaking. That's cool. And that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. Cool. That's yes, cool. yes. Definitely. You just need you just need more practice and you would just get there. No worries. And I hope uh, I could be of some help to you. And you're such a sweetheart. You are a cutie pie. I'm looking forward to having more sessions with you. And if you want to learn more idioms and more words which you could incorporate in your day-to-day -day, uh, life conversations, I'm looking forward to having more sessions with you. All yeah. right? Yes, we will do one more conversation. Oh, you're that excited about it? Yes, I'm excited a lot. Okay, so when I see that you have booked a class a session with me, I would jot down essential idioms I would, uh, that's easier for you to remember, um, you know, so that I could let you know about them. Yes, and today I learned lots of idioms from you. Okay, so in the next session, we will be learning new words and more idioms, all right? Okay, ma'am. Okay, so one more question before we end the session. Are you going to upload this video on YouTube? Yes, I will upload. Definitely. Are you, seriously? Yes, I will upload. It's All like right. All right. Looking forward to that video then. Have a great day ahead and a great afternoon and an evening indeed. Yes, ma'am. Have a great day, ma'am. All, all right. Goodbye. Goodbye, ma'am. Bye-bye. Catch you later.